Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. I double click on default.html page. I right click on default.html page open with the notepad. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss tables. How we can create HTML tables. To create tables in a web page, we are going to use a table tag. So I write here opening table tag and I am going to write a closing table tag. Table tag is a paired tag. So I must and should write closing table tag. Table tag is a block level tag. That means if I create one more table, it is going to be stacked below the previous table. As we know that table is a collection of rows and columns. To create rows in a table or add rows to the table, we are going to use tr tag. tr indicates table row. And table row tag is a paid tag. I have to write a closing tr and table row tag is actually a block level tag. Every table is going to be stacked one below the another. Next. To add table cells or table columns, you can say, we are going to use TD and a closing TD. Now what we are doing here, in this table row, we are adding one table cell. And I write here, SL number, that indicates serial number, file, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that serial number is displayed. But I can't be able to say that whether it is in a table data cell or it is in the table row or it is in the table itself. Let me add a border to it. B O R D E R border equal to one. I am telling to the system draw a border around the table or set the border to the table of one pixel. File save go to browser refresh. What system has done? What browser has done actually means it has drawn one border around the table data or a table cell of one pixel and also it has drawn a border around the table or it has set the border to the whole table of one pixel. That is the reason you can see here you have two borders. If I increase this to five, say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see that the outside border thickness is increased to five pixels whereas the table cell or a table data border is still of one pixel. I say here one, file, save, go to browser, refresh. If somebody told that add one more table cell to this row and write their student name, what I need to do? I need to create one more TD. Here I create one more TD and I say here stud stood name name and closing TD tag. File, save. We are adding one more TD or a table cell to the table row, refresh. You can see that one more cell has got added and it has a border of one th pixel and table border is, uh, you can see it is one pixel. I can increase it to three pixel just to show that we are having a table border and uh, these borders indicates the table cell borders. Okay. I'm going to add one more cell TD. Maybe I say here marks, M-A-R-K-S, marks and closing TD. File, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that one more table cell got, got added and it has the content marks. Now we are going to list the students with their marks. To do that, I need to add one more row, right? To add one more row, I am going to create one more table row, TR and a closing TR just below the previous TR. If I say file, save, go to browser, refresh, nothing happened, but little bit space we got there. Let me add a TD. First TD I'm going to add table cell. And there I say one file, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that one table cell got added to the table row and that table cell has border of one pixel. As we don't have any table cell here, this place is empty. Nothing is there. If I create one more table row, I can create one more table row with a TD and I say there two. File, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that table row got added and it has only one cell with the number two. If I want to add more table cells for the second row, I need to add one more TD here in this table row. So I'm going to add a table data. Say here, maybe Santosh, S-A-N-T-O-S-H, Santosh and a closing TD. Now what happens? 
this adds one more cell to this row that is the second row file save go to browser refresh you can see that one more cell added here with the content santosh i can give marks to him so i can say here td and marks may be 78 percent closing td file save go to browser refresh you can see that we have one more cell added to the second row to the third row we need to add two more cells let me add that td maybe i say here suresh closing td file save go to browser refresh we added one more cell similarly i can add one more cell td table data it is maybe 80 percent closing td file save go to browser refresh this is how you can create a table guys in html how you can add the table rows how we can create table cells and how you add content to the table hope you guys have understood how we can be able to create tables in html and if you want to create one more table i can copy this i just paste it down i am making a copy of the table previous table as we know that table tag is a block level tag it actually takes the entire width of the browser window or its parent in this new table is going to be added below the previous table file save go to browser refresh you can see that we have added one more table here down and i can change the content if i want maybe i can make some list of students attendance i'm going to remove this table now i copy this from here and delete file save go to browser refresh and only we have this table to this table if we want we can give a caption also or a heading to give a caption we are going to use a caption tag c a p t i o n caption and caption tag is a pair tag i am going to write a closing caption tag caption tag has some alignment automatically any text that i write here maybe i say here students marks list file save what it does means it adds a caption above the table and the text that we have written here is going to be automatically aligned center to the table refresh you can see that caption is added above the table and text you can see it is exactly centered from this side from this side this is how you can create a caption to the table file save refresh for this tutorial this much is enough friends hope you guys have understood how we create table rows how we add cells to rows and how we set the caption in the next tutorial we get more information on html for more benefits please subscribe like comment and share thank you guys thank you very much keep learning keep coding keep sharing